What is the mother of all bombs that the U? S. Just dropped on Afghanistan. The idea of dropping an air blast bomb even if it has the largest non-nuclear ordnance ever used by the U. S. In combat the target fighters hold up in tunnels deep underground might at first seem counterintuitive. The GBU 43-B massive ordnance air blast bomb, or another of all bombs, MOAD, which the Air Force unleashed on ISIS fighters and tunnels Thursday in the Achin district of Afghanistan S. Nangarhar province, never actually struck the ground. But the massive crunch of air pressure created by the nearly 22,000 pound MOAD would have wiped out anyone in the vicinity, and certainly sent a clear signal that the Trump administration is willing to use unprecedented force. Unlike a bomb designed to actually penetrate a building or the ground, the MOAD, also called a fuel air bomb, has a proximity fuse on its nose that ignites the warhead when it reaches a certain altitude which might be anywhere between 50 and 1,000 feet says Edward Priest, a former Air Force Special Operations Combat Controller who retired from the military in 2015. When they blow up, they blast fuel into the air Priest explains. That fuel atomizes. Then there is a secondary explosion that lights the fuel that has been atomized. An air blast bomb doesn't he throw out a lot of fragmentation like you'd expect from a normal bomb it has all blast over pressure, which can blow down trees and use the trees themselves as the fragmentation priest says. That type of bomb wouldn't he work well, for example, to destroy tanks, although the overpressure would kill the people in them. You'd overpressure the people hiding in the caves there. You'd never find them it just blows your lungs out of your mouth. It kind of turns you inside out. The use of air blast bombs in Afghanistan dates back to the beginning of the U. S. Military S arrival following the 9-11 attacks on New York City and Washington, T. C. The Air Force dropped several Blue 82 air blast bombs a smaller MOAG predecessor during the early days of fighting the Taliban and Al-Qaeda, including the December 2001 Battle of Tora Bora. Use of the Blue 82 aka the Daisy Cutter was phased out in subsequent years. This is a tough munition to use says a Jade Clark a former military intelligence analyst and president of Thermopylae Sciences and Technology, a provider of geospatial intelligence technology. It might make sense if there is a concentration of enemy troops but it is not something you want to use when you have friendlies or civilians in the vicinity. There is no way to control it. The decision to use the MOAD at this time was probably as much political as it was strategic. More than anything, any time you drop one of these you want to make an audacious statement, in this case to reinforce our resolve to fight an Afghanistan priest says, adding they produce a large mushroom cloud that can be seen for miles. Clark agrees. These types of bombs were developed as much for their psychological impact as anything else he says. The military uses bunker buster bombs to penetrate the ground in certain situations but the caves they were targeting are likely too deep for something like that to have any effect," Clark adds. After reaching an impasse in Afghanistan for the past five years, he thinks the Nangarhar bombing says we're taking things to a new level in Afghanistan.